Hi everyone, today we are going to walk through the Watson Billing Agent Accelerator. And this accelerator will demonstrate Watson's ability to not only answer general account related information, but also show how we can use Watson to authenticate a customer and protect personally identifiable information, also known as PII. And so to begin, I will go ahead and type in my username and password, which is just IBM and Watson, all lowercase, and I'll hit submit. And you will see immediately that I am taken to this chatbot interface. And for those of you that are familiar with our real estate conversation bot, this UI may look familiar to you. So just keep in mind that as you're interacting with this accelerator, that this UI is just a starter framework and that it can be customizable based on client preferences. And so you'll see here on the right hand side that we have five different profiles from which you can choose and they all come with different scenarios and account information and we'll use this account information to help authenticate us as a user so that Watson can provide us with information about our account. So I'll go ahead and use this Thomas Watson profile but again you can choose any of them. So I will start and I will say Watson as my last name. And then again, I will start to walk through the authentication process. So I'll type in my birthday, which I get from over here. And what you're seeing is that Watson is able to mask this PII information. And I'll go ahead and continue the authentication process, leveraging the information that's provided for me here. I'll go ahead and enter the last four of my social. So it's important to note here that Watson is not storing this information in the cloud. This information is coming from a bank API, so think Chase or Wells Fargo, that would then be pushing that information to Watson so that I can be authenticated and I can get information about my account. So now that I'm authenticated, um, I can go ahead and say you know, auto insurance, for example. And I'll say, you know, what is my account balance? might send and I'll say no I don't want to make a payment but you can see here that Watson is able to give me my account information and also uh, tell me when my when my policy period runs through and let's say now that I want information about homeowners insurance um, let's say what about homeowners I hit send Okay, great. So again, I'm provided information and you can see here that based on this question, Watson understands the intent that my that my question about homeowners is about my is a balance inquiry and it's also tracking my sentiment here. Um, and I can say no, I don't want to make a payment. And we can continue with this inter interaction really as long as we want. Um, you can choose to switch profiles. If you were to switch profiles and you click this use button, it would basically skip through this authentication process. So just note that. Um, and you can see here also that we're tracking sentiment based on my conversation. And the last thing I want to point out is this live agent button. For now, this is intended to be illustrative, but it is designed to remind customers that they can be transferred to a live agent at any time. Otherwise, if a customer would fall below a minimum sentiment level, the, this button would shake here to re remind customers that this is an option for them. So that's the Billing Agent Accelerator. Um, this accelerator uses Watson Conversation to engage with customers in natural language and also alchemy language here to understand sentiment and emotion. We could use a banks such as Wells Fargo or Chase to push information that is not stored in the cloud to help us authenticate our account as I previously mentioned. And this is just one of our many accelerator bots that we have so make sure you check out the communication section on the portal to see others around product recommendation and other self-service capabilities. And definitely let us know what you think so you can go and review this accelerator and provide feedback. So thanks for watching.